Hey, hey, friends. Hello. How is everyone doing? I am so glad to be back with you today doing some crafting, doing a craft and chat. And uh, what that means is that I am crafting a live with you. There would be there will be a red live button up here at the top. Uh, or whichever one. <laughs> and so, um, you know, I am here on my page, Country Charm by Tracy. Um, also, it is my craft round the clock segment for this week. So I am uh, excited to be uh, in the craft round the clock group. So if you're watching live, welcome. If you're watching on the replay, welcome as well because I am so glad that you are here. I'm so glad that you're here. All right, so if you do not know me, my name is Tracy, and I craft here at Country Charm by Tracy. Uh, you can find me on Facebook as well as YouTube. Good morning, Leanne, my sweet friend. Hi, Alana from Central Texas. I am in Southeast Texas in a little town called Brenham, and uh, we're famous for Bluebell ice cream. Also, Washington on the Brazos, where Texas was born. <laughs> anyway, so it is my segment, like I said, for Craft Around the Clock, so if you're watching in that group, welcome. Uh, I'm so glad to be with you all today. All right, so uh, in this, the theme for this week in Craft Around the Clock is scrap wood. So that is right down my alley, guys. Right down. Hi, Becky. Right down my alley. And so um, I am going to show you what I'm going to be doing. And uh, yeah, this is going to hopefully if it turns out the way that I have the picture in my mind, I am going to really, really, really be happy. Anyway, so say hello as you come on. As I said, if you if I'm still live, there will be a red live button up here at the top. If not, that means that you're watching on the replay. So on Facebook, if you would just kindly put hashtag replay. Um, I do upload my video craft videos to YouTube. And so I want to welcome all of my YouTube family because guys, you are my heart. You're, that's where I started. Uh, and so I am so appreciative that you're watching today. All right. Hi, Brooklyn. Hi, Felicia. Rainy. Thank y'all so much for being here. All right. So what for my scrap wood, what I'm going to use are three of these boards. Now I have used some of these in the past only because I have so many of them and they were from an old uh, fence, uh, picket fence or whatever that my in-laws had. And so they had, we're going to scrap them. And I'm like, they're like, do you want them? I'm like, yes. And so I use them periodically. So that's what I'm using today. I'm going to be using three of those. And then also what I'm going to be using are some of these flowers. Now they're already painted because I had already done them many years ago when my husband and I were still doing craft shows. And so uh, they were just, you know, put in a box and I'm like, well, they're too good to throw away because one day I may want to do a craft. Today's that day. That's the reason why I'm such a craft hoarder <laughs> is because I'm like, no, those are too good. I can't get rid of those. <laughs> anyway, hello, Janet. Hello, my sweet nanny. Hi, Shelby, Tony, Dawn, Sue. Uh, thank you all for watching the video today. Uh, anyway, so they're already done with you know, my doodles and painting and stuff, but I don't have any paint splatters on these. Now I do have paint splatters on that one, but we're going to give it a little facelift. So these are kind of like scrap flowers that I've had for a few years. Anyway, so, um, and what I would do is like, especially this one, yeah, it says extra on the back. Like if, cause my husband would cut out the wood. And so I would try to get every single thing out of a piece of board. This is just like plywood and stuff. And so I would just hand draw out flowers and, um, you know, he would cut them out. And so like, I would put extra because like I would do patterns and stuff. So I would write in pencil what the pattern was so I knew which piece went to what set. <laughs> so anyway, that's how I did it. And so I would just write extra on it. So that way I knew that it didn't go with the, with the set. Anyway, so for this one, I just, for the middle of it, I just used the half, uh, these are probably, uh, see, I don't know. This has been so many years ago, the half, the split with, uh, wood balls, the split wood balls. This probably was uh, the, for this center. I probably had extra plywood and just drew out, you know, whatever 
wonky circle and he cut it out this one as well and so like no no flowers are the same because I would just hand draw them and stuff like that anyway so we're going to be painting that up and then we're also going to use a burlap bag now this burlap bag came from Walmart I think Walmart hi Rhonda Linda thank y'all hey Mammy Brooklyn uh all right so I'm gonna go ahead and bend you down so that we can get started on the craft All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be putting some, uh, be painting this up, and then I'm gonna be attaching this board because I want to have like a, you know, picket kind of look, and I'm gonna be using some wire. Now, I find this wire at the Dollar Tree in the automotive section. Uh, it's usually like uh, black and red in it, and so it's thin, it's pliable, but it holds very well. And then for the top, I've already pre-drilled my holes because since I'm on a time schedule and craft around the clock, uh, so I'm going to be, uh, you know, so I've already done a little bit of the prep work so that I could do the fun stuff. So I like to get this thicker wire that my husband gets me from Lowe's. I don't know what gauge it is, but it's, it's pliable enough that I can like wrap my finger around it, but yet, you know, um, it's not quite as thin as this from the Dollar Tree. Hi Sandy, hi Cheryl, hey Rhonda, Linda. Thank y'all for being here. We're also gonna make a cute tag and then we're going to be putting the flowers on here. So that was kind of my thought that we were gonna put the burlap bag, put the flowers on there. And then what I've done is I've already, uh, already painted some of these sticks green. These are gonna be my stems. I use just some skinny sticks. I have all kind of crap, you know, craft stuff. Also, I wanted to mention, now I had these from Hobby Lobby. I got them on sale, so I'm not quite sure. You know, sometimes this was in the chip decor. These are kind of like the flowers. You know, I'm just giving options for someone who may not have this. Uh, you know, you can look at Hobby Lobby. Sometimes they clearance things out because they are not going to carry them anymore. But then sometimes they clearance them out because they're changing the style or whatever. Anyway, but these chip decor, are, decor they're thick and they're so cute. Uh, anyway, so, okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to be using some plaster. All right. Mammy says she just received a free bandsaw from a sweet friend. Girl, that score. That is what me and my husband have. Uh, we have, well, we have a bandsaw, we have a scroll saw, and we have jigsaw, that, that kind of stuff. The bandsaw, girl, he could go to town on that bandsaw let me tell you uh that is that was a game changer for us uh when we were you know doing wood crafts and all that kind of stuff uh anyway so i'm just using my brush here and uh <clears throat> i haven't done this part already i didn't wire them together yet because i wanted to um i didn't want to get the paint on my on my wire and so anyway, I just, I'm not giving a heavy coat. I just want to, uh, just kind of do like a rustic dry coat kind of thing. I'm really not even going to worry about painting the sides. Once I get it finished, I can go back and, uh, paint the sides if I choose to. So if you do not have, you know, access to some the scrap wood. Now, I know Hobby Lobby has like boards that may be a little bit thinner. Um, but I just saw them yesterday when I was in my local Hobby Lobby. And those of you that have been following me for some time, you know that my town uh, just, what, last month? opened up a brand new Hobby Lobby in my hometown of Brenham, Texas. And guys, this is huge because I have been a Hobby Lobby shopper for years, many, many years. And uh, to have a Hobby Lobby in my hometown is like a gift to the crafter. <laughs> I kid you not. All right. So I'm going to just kind of slowly 
try to set these to the side. If I need to, I'll get my uh, heat tool. Anyway, so like I said, um, my husband and I did wood crafts for many years, and so these are left over from many years ago. Anyway, so when I was thinking about my craft for today, I'm like, I am going to use those. And so, like I like I mentioned, I would just cut, just hand, just draw out flowers and stuff. Uh, and uh, he and I would do wood crafts and all of that kind of stuff. So it kind of looks like this one needed a little more doodles. Guys, if you are new to me, my name is Tracy. I craft at Country Charm by Tracy, and uh, I love to share crafty ideas with a bit of rustic country charm. Hello, Hummingbird Paintery. How are, I'm doing well. Thank you so much for hopping on today. Hi, Tanya. Welcome to everyone. I'm sorry if I missed you. Um, like I said, I'm on a time schedule so I will definitely go back and uh, answer any questions or you know comment like your comment and if you're watching on the replay I do appreciate you watching because that's where the majority of my folks watch later after the video is over anyway so I'm gonna do some paint splatter I'm a bit old school well a lot old school uh, anyway so I'm gonna do that with some black paint and I'm going to get me a new stick because I like to use these skinny sticks. And uh, so I'm going to add some paint splatters. And so what I do is I just uh, use a stiff brush. You can use a toothbrush, old toothbrush, uh, not your new one, <laughs> an old toothbrush, something that's stiff. And then I run the stick across the bristles, you know, like toward the stick toward my body. So that way it projects onto the project and so like I said it just um thank you Linda for spreading the charm thank you so much guys that is a free way to help us crafters is just by spreading the charm just by um sharing it with your folks I said the s word sharing it with your friends uh, on your pages or in a group that allows uh for you know public sharing that kind of thing and um, if you do something like this similar, I do have a uh, free Facebook group that is called Country Charm by Tracy Crafty Community. Uh, you do have to prove that you are a, a true crafter only because um, sometimes I get spammers in there that spam uh, and uh, they don't, you know, anyway, they, they're getting slick. They're getting very, very slick. Anyway, okay. So then also what I, okay, these are, let's see, I might need to hit this with my heat gun. Oh, Leanne says, FB just sent the notification that I was live. They're, they're a little slow. They're, yep, yep, girl. FB is not, uh, not our friend right now. It is not the crafter's friend. So, uh, as Leanne, who is Dita's Crafts and Creations, if you do not follow Miss Dita, she's my sweet friend. She and I, um, we both live in Texas, but she lives up near Dallas. I live in Brenham, so we're about four hours away, but we are going to get together uh, with Misty from the Crafty Farmers and maybe Janet from the Nanny Snook and Jessica from uh, Jessica's Party Decor and more. And we are going to have ourselves a good time because last year um, they had an event, a uh, little crafting a, a retreat, and I it was just not a good time in my family's life. My uh, fresh, well, he was in eighth grade then, but my son, yeah, he was having a difficult time, and I just did not, um, you know, I did not want to leave him, and so. Uh, all I can say is all glory to the Lord because right now <laughs> he did settle out. He did settle down. Uh, we did go to counseling and all of that kind of thing. And uh, so what I'm doing now, guys, I get so involved in what I was, uh, what I, what I was. <laughs> slow down, slow down. All right. 
I get so involved in what I'm doing, I forget to tell um, people what I'm doing. All right, so I like to shade, and I just use a like a flat paintbrush. This is uh, probably a one inch, and depending on um, what I'm doing will depend on what size I use. Since these are uh, bigger boards, and uh, we are doing scrap wood uh, in Craft Round the Clock group, if you're not already a member of Craft Round the Clock, um, I do have the um, link pin or not pinned, but I have the link in my description. It's free to join. You do have to answer the questions just to make sure that you know you are. You do have a legitimate Facebook page and all of that stuff. Anyway, I have. I'm new to Craft Round the Clock, and everyone is just so warm and accepting and just it's just a wonderful group what it is is it's a, a crafting videos uh pictures inspiration um miss tracy campbell is the um mastermind behind the craft around the clock group and she has so many things in store and I'm just very fortunate to have been able to, you know, become a hostess. Uh, that means that I am, my videos are shared into that group. And so everyone is so welcoming and just so um, kind. And that's what the world needs more of. Just kindness. Just kindness. Okay. Thank you, Miss Sherry. Sherry um, has put the link to Craft Around the Clock in the uh, comments. Thanks, Connie. I love you've watched me before. Thank you so much, guys. Um, I have been on YouTube for many years and um, and I love my community over there. But Facebook has just given me the platform to be able to craft like in real time and. Uh, then I can save it over there later to my page and, and onto my uh, to my crafting channel. Facebook says pages, um, YouTube says channels. Uh, anyway, so then what now? What I'm going to do is if I can get this. <laughs> that's the only thing it kind of twist up on you. That's right, Miss Janet, the Nanny's Nook. If y'all do not sh uh, follow the Nanny's Nook, y'all need to as well. Uh, so <clears throat> what I'm going to do is um, piece these together. And like I said, um, I would have done this prep work before, but I did not want to get any paint on my board. I mean, on my wire, on the wire. And I could have cut these already, but that's good. That's good. Thanks, Tony. Tony says it's going to be adorable. Hey, Connie. So I'm cutting these a little bit longer because um, I'm going to curl them. I'm going to curl them. And so since my flowers are already painted, I'm not going to have to do that. And my time, I came on at... 9 30 uh central and so i have until 10 15 and so in the craft round the clock group you can watch uh crafters 24 7 <laughs> 24 7 uh they may be live uh they may be uh you know after the live is over and so uh I, when i drilled my holes this morning um, I'm like, oh my goodness, it has been so long since I have smelled sawdust like that. Uh, the reason my husband and I stopped doing um, craft shows is because actually I was kind of burned out on it. Uh, I was kind of dying down a little bit. The internet had really just started because I was back in to the 2000s. My Youngest son was born in 2006, and so he was born with ADHD. And so anyone who has a child, a grandchild that has ADHD, you know, our struggles. Um, and so all praise and glory to the Lord for keeping that child 
safe because he, I prayed a long time for him. Um, those of you that don't know my story, uh, and, and what I, what I'm also finding is that a lot of people have the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and put this hanger on this wire. My husband grabs for me at Lowe's. I'm not quite sure what the gauge is, but it's a little thicker wire. He gets it in the, um, tool section. Anyway, I like the whimsical look. That's kind of what my style is. A little bit of old school country style. And uh, what I'll do is I will just take take my um, needle nose pliers. I was going to say wire cutters, but that's not correct. I'm not using my curling tools on this, uh, my curling tool on this only because, um, I don't know. I'm just used to doing it like this for so many years before I got the curling tools. And what the curling tools are, guys, are these right here. Um, my sweet friend, Miss Jan Blackwell, had sent me these curling tools, and they're just different sizes. I do have a link for them uh, in my um, link tree. There is a, uh, and it just has a little slit in there, and you just curl them down. And so when she, uh, when she told me what I need to do is twist these first and then curl them down. When she told me she was sending these to me, guys, I had never seen these before. And so I'm like, when I got them, I'm like, I had reached out to her and said, what do I do with them? She goes, well, you're always curling your wire. And I thought that it would help out. And I'm like, okay, um, I'm not quite sure how to use them, but it has a little slit in there. I don't get anything. There was only one website that I found that has um, these curling tools. And so, like I said, it is a link in my um, link tree that has these curling tools. And so then it just curls, curls them down like that. Yes, you can do it without them, but it just makes things so fun. I am a gadget junkie. Hello, Misty, my sweet friend. Thanks for hopping on. Guys, I'm just trying. I'm not ignoring you. I promise I will go back later and read all of the comments because that is the majority of when my people do watch because, like I said, I do upload later to my YouTube channel. And so I try to comment, heart, like, um, acknowledge in some kind of way Everyone who comments. So I do appreciate you being here today with me as we're crafting this. Um, I call it craft and chat because usually I just do pre-recorded videos. And so, you know, you know, you kind of get to know me a little bit better this way. Okay. So guys, this is how our board is looking. Oh my goodness. Oh, OMG. OMG. Okay. All right. So then, all right, so let's see then my flowers. Um, if you're just joining me, um, my husband and I did woodcrafts for many years. And so they, these flowers are left over, so they're kind of scrap. <laughs> I'm also going to use some tumbling tower blocks to uh, kind of, um, you know, pop them up a bit. Good morning, everyone. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, my name is Tracy. I craft here at Country Charm by Tracy. You can find me on Facebook as well as YouTube. I do have, whoops, have a crafty channel over on YouTube. That's kind of where I started. And then I came over here to Facebook and joined all of my friends. Oh, thanks. If you like my style, my style's a little bit old school, a little bit, a lot country. I'm, you know, hence my name, Country Charm by Tracy. And so I, I like to pop up my um, things using these tumbling tower blocks from a Dollar Tree. And so it is my uh, crafting time in craft around the clock uh, my weekly segment 
And so I am so glad that you are here joining today. I am having so much fun getting to know all the crafters and the, um, you know, community there over at uh, Craft Around the Clock. So for this, for today, what I'm doing is I'm doing a combination of E6000 as well as hot glue. And so the E6000 gives me a little bit of time. Um, so let's see. I didn't want anything very uh, thick. Uh, let me see. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and put my flowers down because I have those tumbling tower blocks. I have enough space that I can get my, um, my stems in there. And I think I just totally messed that up because I want this one to go right here and these big ones on the side. Thank you if anyone is answering questions because like I said, I'm just hurriedly trying to get <laughs> my craft done. Uh, I will go back later after the video and answer any questions that I that ha maybe have been asked and, and maybe I've missed. All right, so then now what I'm gonna do is put my stems. I'm just gonna... Try not to bone myself. You know, it all worked out in my head. Uh, Rainy asked, do I like the spray E6000? I will tell you, I have had one instance with the spray. And it, and it had to be just the bottle that I got. Uh, and I should have took, taken it back. It didn't work. It like worked for at the beginning. Um, but then it didn't work. And so I'm like, eh, this is crap. Oh, I'm sorry. This is not good. And so, you know, I'm kind of like that. If I get burned on something, um, then I kind of like have a bad taste in my mouth. So then I, I should have taken it back. I should have taken it back and said, this does not work. Uh, okay. So this is how our board is looking. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put my um, pocket right here. All right. I'm going to put my pocket right there. Uh, and so, but first, um, before I do that, I have these, I don't know, what do you call them? Market tags? Anyway, I don't know. I had bought a whole bunch of them a long time ago, many, many years ago at an office supply store and so then I tea stain them and so they come out looking like this uh, and what we're going to do is the Lord has given me the gift of hand lettering. I did It did take me some time and lots of practice to learn how to hand letter. Oh and then those of you that have been following me for a while uh, you know that I love my happy dots and uh, I have found some more fonts uh, that have the happy dots because that's what I always say. Just practice, you know, download the fonts from defont.com. You can practice, you know, anything that you want to say in my link tree. Go down and there's like free handwritten fonts or something like that. And I found some more that have happy dots on it. Oh my goodness. I was so happy with that. I was going to do a, like a reel or something to show that, but I just haven't gotten to do that yet. All right. So I'm going to write bloom on here. And so I'm just using a, um, chisel, uh, Sharpie marker and I'm just going to write bloom. And so uh, one day, one day this week, I was, I said, you know what? I'm going to look to see if there's any more uh, on defont.com because there was a font called Gel Dotica that I found. And it is the sim most similar to my style of writing because I was getting so many requests um, for my style of writing. And uh, because my thing is, is I depending on what word I'm writing may depend on how I form my letters. And so 
Um, I, I have found a couple of fonts now, well, about like five or six, and that is very similar to this. So you can, you know, uh, download it off of thefont.com, uh, put it on your computer. You can write out different phrases, whatever you want to say. Anyway, so Bloom, and I do thank the Lord for the gifts and talents that he has given to me. Um, thanks, Jeanette. Jeanette says she loves, she goes, I love Happy Dots. Me too. I also love my doodles. That's another thing that I do here or do on my page. Love my paint splatters. Love my doodles. Love my Happy Dots. And so, as I said, everything that I have, I owe to the Lord uh, because he has given me these gifts and talents uh, to share. Uh, also, um, I have I retired last year, last summer, uh, after 32 years uh, at, a, at a state job, state of Texas job. And so I um, retired and we're doing this. This is the job he has me doing now. Um, Sue, Sue Ireland, in my link tree, there are, uh, yeah, just, there's, uh, what I'm doing now, guys, I have, uh, and I'll come back to Sue. I have a thin liner brush. This is a, uh, number two. Also in my link tree are, uh, links to my favorite paint brushes, uh, that you just can kind of see, and then you can see whatever you can find in the craft store. And so when I do my lettering, what I like to do is put a little swoosh our little comma in the happy dots and that just kind of brings out the letter. I've been doing that for years and love that so much. Just like that, just like that. Uh, anyway, so back to Sue's question. Um, in my link tree, there is um, links that you can go. It goes to my uh, blog, and you can see all of them. Um, I can't, Jill Dotica is the one that sticks in my mind, but I can't think off of the top of my head. Oh, Jeanette says I like, she likes the font Jolly Unicorn also. It has dashes at the end instead of the dots. Um, Jeanette, is that on uh, defont.com? If so, I will look for that and include it in my um, fonts, my free handwritten written fonts, because I that's what I want to do. I want to provide that to you guys. All right. So now I want to make sure that this is dry. So then what I'm going to do also is um, I like the more crinkly look, and I hope that I don't. I'm going to set that to the side to dry before I distress it. Okay, so I, I know y'all, someone's going to ask about this. Um, I had bought a, these were silver. I got them from Walmart, and I used my friend Linda's um, method. She is faithchick777 on YouTube, and um, I used her method of resting small metals. So if you just go to YouTube and type... Um, you know, how to rest small metals, Faith Chick 777. Her video will pop up and it's Faith, uh, Faith, she spells it F A Y T E, Chick 777. Anyway, because I do get questions about that. And so then I just put them back in here and then I pull out one when I need it. And so I did them all at one time. And uh, so then there I have that. Welcome anyone and everyone who is new. I'm so glad that you were here. Uh, I'm just using some blocks of styrofoam that I get from the Dollar Tree. Getting from the Dollar Tree. <clears throat> so Jeanette says she gets a lot of fonts from Creative Fabrica. So, um, so there's options for different fonts. So I just like, I just went to defont.com and just typed in dot, uh, dot, D-O-T. And so, um, those, I just went through and put, there was a whole bunch of them. 
a whole bunch of them. And Defont.com is, um, I'm using some fine Excelsior right now. I like the very fine Excelsior. It's a very whimsical. I like that as well. Uh, hi, hi, Connie. Thank you. Hey, Mimi. Hey, Rini. As I said, guys, if uh, if I don't see your comment, because Mr. FB is not showing us all the comments. <laughs> or not telling when our favorite tractors are going live. So uh, my friend uh, Leanne had a very good point while ago. That's what, what's good about the texting service. And my um, text number is this if you want to join my texting group. Um, I will send you uh, a notice when I go live on Facebook or when I post to YouTube. Um, it's my, it's free to you, but it is a way for you to stay connected with, to me. And so I have lots of friends that um, are on the list. You know, you can um, unsubscribe at any time, meaning just reply stop you know and I'll take you off the list anyway so what I've done now is I just kind of crinkled up my tag a bit and I like to add a bit of distressing I like to use this vintage photo by Tim Holtz you can get it at uh, the craft store Hobby Lobby Michaels Joann's that kind of place I just like to you know distress up a bit Is my camera not flipped? I thought I flipped it. I apologize. All right, so um, I thought I had flipped it. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is um, just, I just take one of those safety pins, those rusty safety pins, and uh, just put it here. Well, it's 979-316-7944. So I apologize. I thought I had flipped my camera. 979-316-7944 uh, is my text alert number. All right, Brooklyn. I'm so glad that you joined as well. Thank you so much. All right. So then this is what we're doing. We're going to attach this uh, here. We're going to attach here. Let me get some... I, I have a love-hate relationship with, um, what do you call it, E6000. Uh, so, I know it costs a little bit more money, but I buy these little tubes because, you know, the kids, you gotta, you know, get what you can get. Anyway, so, I didn't make it the whole thing up. So, uh, I like to use E6000 as well as hot glue. The E6000, thank you, Tamara. Tamara put my uh, texting number in the uh, comments, 979-316-7944. And uh, it is my free texting group. Um, you know, I'll send you alerts when I go live on Facebook. And also when I upload to YouTube. So like later, I will upload this to YouTube uh, so that my community over there can see this as well. Now, I, I didn't do any leaves. Um, anyway, so what I'm, I'm using now are these flowers. And uh, so I thought that I would just kind of use this. This is from Hobby Lobby, my favorite store, guys favorite store. Anyway, I'm just sticking this in here. And so I love this. Uh, it's in the greenery. It, it doesn't have a name on the uh, tag. It just, you know, I bought it recently, so I know that they still have it. Anyway, I like it because it's a little viney. It's a little viney. So I may need to cut some of these off and save those for another project. I do apologize if my camera was not flipped. I thought I had done that. Uh, I will make sure, I need to make myself a note just to make sure I get all my I's dotted and all my T's crossed. 
and that is one of the things to make sure that you can see correctly. So my apologies. All right, so I have that. And then, you know, I didn't want too much because uh, I want, you know, the flowers. You know what? This is not dry yet. This needs to come up here a little bit more. So what I'm doing is putting this up here a little bit more. I didn't get that spaced right. So I am so glad to be crafting with y'all. Uh, like I said, it is um, a way for y'all to kind of see my, the method to my madness. And hi, Erin, my sweet friend. Mona, thank you. Anna says she's been... Uh, Anna says she's been following me from the beginning. Thank you so much. So this right here, I think, is one of my favorite greeneries from um, Hobby Hobby. It is that eucalyptus. And what's wrong with me? I guess I'm backwards with using this today. <laughs> my husband bought me those cutters. And for whatever reason, you know. I guess because I'm trying to hurry because uh, my time is almost up in craft around the clock and I want to finish this project. And then I also have some of these cute little flowers. Cute little flowers. Um, these were on sale last week, so I guess they'll be on sale. Their bushes will be on sale next week. I just wanted a little accent. And then I am going to make a bow. I will share all of that when I post the pictures. And as I said, if you make one, share it with me over in my Country Charm Crafty community. I did create that group as a way for those, my followers, my sweet friends and followers to share their creations with me because everybody is so creative you know i'm inspired let me bend you up now i'm inspired every single day every single day when i get on facebook when i get on youtube when i get on pinterest when i get in craft around the clock i'm like oh my goodness there are just so many creative people anyway Guys, this turned out so good. So, it is Scrap Wood Week and Craft Around the Clock. So, this is what I did. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so let me review real quick because I only have just a couple minutes. Um, the scrap wood is just pickets that my in-laws were going to toss. And they're like, do you want these? I'm like, yes. The flowers I had hand drawn. My husband cut them out. Uh, you know, if you don't have that option, these chip decor, or, I mean, you know, or, or so just cut it out of, of, you know, you can just hand draw them. These are all hand drawn. The, the middles are split wood balls that I had painted. The burlap bag is from walmart and so the greenery is from hobby lobby the little tag is um let me hold it up the little tag is a market tag that i had tea stained and uh so i i so appreciate y'all being here <sighs> guys i just i wired everything with my favorite wire from um dollar tree dollar tree and i don't even think i need to do anything to the back this is how the back looks I just wired it together and uh, I like that because it's like a little wonky because I'm a little wonky. <laughs> I'm a little wonky. Uh, anyway, so uh, whoever sent the stars, thank you so much. I do appreciate it. And uh, like I said, I think I'm going to make just a small bow, nothing too over the top, just a little, little accent or I don't know. I may add a little raffia uh, here up at the top because I love me some raffia. So, 
Uh, I appreciate y'all watching today in Craft Around the Clock. If you're watching on the replay on Facebook or if you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for being here. Y'all have a great day and uh, go check out the other crafters in Craft Around the Clock because there's lots more inspiration. All right. God bless you and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.